Here, the question is: If the pseudocode below were a programming language, how many tests are required to achieve 100% statement coverage? And then these options are provided. Now let's analyze the code to get the correct answer. Line one is if x equals to three. This is a condition, so we can represent it like this on the flowchart. If this condition is true, line number two, display message x will execute. Since it is a statement, we can represent it like this. Line number three is if y equals to two. This is a condition, and since the first condition is not yet closed, we have to place it here in flowchart. If this condition becomes true, line number four, display message y will execute. Since it is a statement, we can represent it like this. If the condition fails, line number five and six. Else, display message z will execute. Since it is a statement, we can represent it like this. Line number seven is else. This else if for condition on line number one. If the condition fails, line number eight, display message z will execute. Since it is a statement. We can represent it like this. Now we can close the flowchart. With this, the flowchart is complete. Now we can use this flowchart to get the answer. As per the question, we have to find number of test cases for statement coverage. Here we can see these three branches, and each branch has a statement. That means. We need three test cases to cover the statement coverage. Option C is the answer.